it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked in. Know that then be ready to plank. Hey. hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live Thursday, February 1st. Hope all is well. Market back to being a bullish market. All isn't well. <laughs> gave us uh, a day. It's one nice day yesterday, but took it all back. Took it all back. I, uh, yeah, I hit my Rick. Actually, I had a, uh, a little ad on my Rick as well. So that was a nice one. That was up about, so between those about 3,500. So that was, that was the best thing of my day. I, uh, my re-entries, uh, total, I'm not in any now. I'm total down about 8K on those. And I'm in a PM update iron condor that's up, uh, so that's my only bot trade today. So that's up about 8% currently. And then we are in update territory for power hour. So I'll be letting the bots do the uh, update power hour. Yeah, I'm uh, not in anything at all right now because my first power hour got stopped. How was the how was the other trades? Yeah, so I've had uh, let's see here. So my first three were losers, um, and then I had a winner on lunchtime number two, and then a loser on power hour number one. So I am one. Let's see, and those were stops without hitting twenty percent. Yep. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever been stopped. Um. Three time, well, I guess it would be all, my first four were all stopped. That's the first time that's ever happened without booking 20%. Mm -hmm. And the theta decay was just, man, it was just non existent until here recently, anyway. Yeah, until the rip your face off rally. Expected move to the upside was 48.85, currently at 48.97. New highs of day. All right. Tranche number one just came in. And that was on the <clears throat> 95 puts and then 4,900 calls. So five wide. And that is up day. So we're doing two to one. Let's see. I'm going to look at the. Yeah, it feels like certainly feels like more often than not, the day after FOMC has a pretty big range for sure. Yeah. I thought the, uh, you know, I wasn't doing any of my other bots as I posted in my trade plan for February, but I thought the, uh, Re-entry might still hold up well, but not to be today. I'm looking at the 4,900. Let me look here. It's...
Ken, was that Rick meme okay with you? I believe that's new. I believe that was not recycled. Thank you. Still a chance to be green on the day if power hour comes through. We weren't streaming for power hour yesterday, but I was posting in the chat. I hit a nice MOC uh, trade at the end of the day yesterday. Elliot partook as well. Yeah, all two to one tomorrow. I'm still looking here, not anything yet. Tranche one, I got eleven forty five. Yeah, and I got faked out pretty good on the futures too. I did uh I could I just couldn't read this market worth anything today. I got stopped out of a Dow <clears throat> trade early, and then I got stopped out of an ES trade uh, as well. So no, uh, no green on my futures trading either. I'm looking at the 4905, 4900, I guess, here. So that's um, going to get me above five. No. Forty. Check that. Forty-eight ninety-five, forty-nine hundred. Well, it it just moved. So I was looking at the forty-nine oh five, forty-nine hundred, but not anymore. <clears throat> A little bullish bias. Yeah. Uh. But it, well, that's because it moved. Um, actually now looking at Tranche one already up 17%. Whoa, what just happened there? It's 
see. So I got filled on tranche one at 1145. So I will reduce my stop at 685. Man, my computer's run slow. Yeah, a little push up and nice decay coming in quickly. Tranche one already at twenty three percent. My PM iron condor is up eighteen. So would you go with Chad the eight forty eight ninety five forty nine hundred? Yeah. That fill was it was my fill that kind of surprised me. Good or bad? Good. Yeah. So for my PM iron condor, I don't have any profit targets or anything. I'm just taking that, well, 90% profit target, I guess is technically what it would be. So yesterday, no rate cut in March was a bad thing. Today, it's all good. <laughs> all back to normal. And we're pushing new highs, 49.01, highs of day, that is. Shocker. All-time high was 49.31. We're at 49.02, so hopefully we don't hit that today. Yeah, I can go ahead and just slow down and stop anytime it wants. Forty nine oh three. Tranche two is set to come in at fourteen after. So we're in about nine minutes. And I just got I just got stopped out on my when I just put in. You just got stopped? 
Yeah. I got filled at 675 and then I got stopped at 750. That doesn't make sense. Did you you get filled and then you put your OCO in? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Must have I don't know, maybe I did something wrong. One of those days, you know. Your mom told you you'd have days like this. Yes. My tranche one is still doing good, still up 22%. My PM iron condor a little bit red now. That one needs a little down move. Yeah, I think I might just sit the rest of the day out. It's kind of obvious that uh, things aren't my... It's, I guess I was due for one of these days. Yeah, so after today, I saw somebody asked you kind of if you have a, a loss limit for the day. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking around that for you for your trading? Yeah, I'm, I'm something I got. I got. I definitely have to think about that. I mean, because today, today would have qualified. For Where sure. are you at right now? Have you figured it yet? Uh, no. Tranche one already at thirty three percent. I may reduce my stop before tranche two even comes in. This holds. Need to get down to six eighty five. It's currently at seven thirty. About five minutes till tranche two. Yeah, it'd be nice if the price would just hold. Uh, for you right here, I and mean, it's still a lot of time left, so it's probably still do a lot. Who knows? Yeah, Kelvin, I talked about that in my trade plan video. The normal day, A, it's just not just not performing well. You know, the, the up and the down days just are way better. And then, so if it's a normal day, I'll just plan on continuing my re-entry trades. Oh, yeah, we'll still stream for sure. We will have something going on. Just not the normal day power hour trades. Do you close your ricks out or do you, um, if they run one way or the other, do you just let them expire? I usually leave a runner on. 
especially uh-huh. if it's to the downside, usually to the upside, I just right. hit my profit target and I take it off. Gotcha. Which is what I did today. Yeah. But if it runs up and it gets to where it, you, know, you can't be any more profitable to the upside, do you just let it expire? Like a um, runner? I, I would probably take it off for a little yeah. bit. I've, I've had situations where it was basically at full profit and then went back into the valley. So that didn't feel good. So, oh yeah. Kind of holding out for a couple cents and you still have a bunch that. of risk on there. So, All right. Yeah, using those three OCOs is that's what I do too, Naughty Dog with my re entry trades. It's nice. Well, I guess I'm not going to get to reduce my stop before Tranche 2 comes on. But if we bounce a little bit, I'll be close. So anyone new here, um, <clears throat> you look at my screen here, the uh, Zero Trade Plans channel. I just posted my trade plan for February. So every month I <clears throat> I post that in the Trade Plans channel. And then also, if you're new, I would also start in the Zero DTE course, scroll up a little bit, and you'll see a new member Zero DTE checklist. So make sure you check that out. That'll give you kind of a good uh, starting point. Not not for me, PT. Not on an update. I'm gonna squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze it for everything it's got. <clears throat> Tranche two coming in. Looks like it'll probably be the 4,900 straddle, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was looking at, too. Depends on where this shakes out. Could be five wide. Looks like it went uh, five wide. So tranche two on the 4,900 puts, 4,905 calls. Build at So definitely a bullish bias. SPX currently sitting at 4,900. How wide did you go on yours? Five wide. Kind of look five wide. 4,900 puts, 4,905 calls. Yeah. Two to one. Puts the puts the calls two to one ratio. So these are my two power hour tranches plus my PM iron condor combined. So forty nine hundred is my sweet spot. Tranche one getting close to stop reduction.
There it is. Reduced my stop on tranche one. Tranche two, I got filled at 9.30. So 560 will be my stop reduction point on tranche two. Nice naughty dog. Nice job. Uh, DRB, what do you mean keep them straight for like closing purposes or just viewing. I mean, if you overlap, then you just got to, I mean, I just, you know, if they were overlapped, I would just look at them combined if I'm looking at the analyze graph, but, um, yeah, you, if you overlap, you can't really, you, what you could, what you could do is you could take your order. So let's say for example, you could go back to your order and you could just analyze it by itself like this. Just click on, just analyze the theoretical order because that's what you got filled on and view it that way. And then just uncheck all the other, you know, your other positions. Runs two up twenty six percent. There you go, Michael Todd. Yeah, just click on the the logo in the upper left hand corner, and that'll bring you to your dashboard here. And then this is where you can manage your, you know, you can edit your stops. 
So actually I need to do that. For example, my, uh, this one's a trailing stop. So I'm going to move that down to six. Tranche two is the trailing stop on an update like this. So I just changed it from seven to six. Make sure that you are looking at um, if you have multiple accounts hooked up, make sure you're you're displaying the correct account. It's by default. You shouldn't have to do anything. You might be looking at the wrong account if you have multiple accounts connected. Make sure you have the right display account. And then just click the trade steward logo and logo in the upper left and it should take you right here. Okay, cool. Crunch three in a couple minutes. Crunch three looks like it might be ten wide. O fives, ninety fives, we hold here. Very nice. Tranche three will start firing in about 60 seconds. So it looks like it'll be the 0595s. Little bump in VIX here the last 20 minutes, back above 14. Uh, naughty dog. I don't know. Build on tranche three at Not 420. Sure. And that's on the 9505s. Sorry, Chad, go ahead. Well, Naughty Dog just asked me a question. I'm not sure. I mean, either not sure or I'm mentally uh, not re not uh, remembering this day.
just closed my, so I had that, I, I took your Rick. I just closed it out for 1955. Nice. My tranche two is up 30%. I'm looking for 560. It's currently trading at 650 to reduce my stop. Yeah, so DRB, for example, now I'm sharing some strikes. So I just kind of put them all together. And here's my profit bubble. Let's just stay inside my profit bubble. And of course, I've got orders on my each individual trade. So if a profit target or a um, stop loss hits, it'll it's managing them individually. Yeah, thanks, Nick. I, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I will. Um, I'll check it out. Well, I like I like the way SPX is sleeping right now. Yeah, for sure, huh? Would you say your your sweet sweet spot was forty nine hundred? Forty nine hundred pin is what I'm looking for. It's a nice round number. It always pins at nice round numbers, doesn't it? Oh yeah. <clears throat> I don't have straddles for anything. 80 uh 9505s for tranche 3 4900s 4905s for tranche 2 and 4895 4900s for tranche 1. I'm all strangled up. Got my stop reduced on tranche one. Tranche two is at 32%. Getting close. Uh, Sharky, do you have option Omega? Definitely going to need that. On the, on the sheet, each... Each uh, strategy has an option Omega link that gives all the details and criteria and filters around the around the strategy. If you're going to be if you're going to be trading back tested strategies, you got to have the back testing software. Two eighty nine million to the buy side is the first early indication. Yeah, Sharky. So all uh, a lot of the, you know, if you if you watch my trade plan video that I posted today, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of non back tested strategies, but that's something that I'm just is has some discretion involved, and it's something that I'm still working out and testing for the month. But if you click on the uh, the January tab, you'll see a lot more of the back tested strategies that I was trading in January, for example. So 
Um, so yeah, you'll, you definitely want to get option Omega and because my, you know, my plan is not how you should trade exactly. You know, there's a lot of good trade plans in that channel, trade plans channel from, from a lot of our, you know, more experienced members. So the idea would be to understand the concepts and the filters on the, on the back test and understand why people are trading them. And then, um, you know, f build a plan for yourself designed around your account size and your risk tolerance and how many trades you want to do and what time of trading, what time of day you want to be trading and all that good stuff. Oh, tranche two hit 40%. So I need to reduce my stop. So Michael Todd, are you, uh, are you looking at my screen? So here's here's something that's a little little bit of a nuance with trade steward. So I'm reducing my stop on tranche two for, uh, down to three bucks. Um, and so it's but it's it's based on the opening credit. So when when tranche two got down to five sixty, I want it to be three dollars over five sixty, so it'd be eight sixty. So I actually do it in relation to the opening credit. So I would change this to minus 70 cents. And that would put my stop at 860. So it's always, if you ever adjust, when, once you get to this, if you're adjusting stops, it's always in relation to that opening credit number. The tranche three on an update, I actually reduce as well. Not quite there yet. It's at thirty percent. Tranche one up 53 and a half percent, tranche two up 46, tranche three up 32. So I gotta, I'm gonna be reducing my stop on tranche three pretty quick, hopefully. So tranche three, I got in at 420. So it, once it gets down to 250, Currently trading at 290.
Oh yeah, I'm not putting uh, mechanical power hour on normal days. It's just <clears throat> it's in timeout. In fact, I, I mean, I mentioned it in my trade plan video too. I mean, uh, those other backtest strategies, I'm not abandoning them by any means. I just I need the capacity and the focus for this month to to really dial in exactly how I want to trade these re-entries. And then I'll next month I'll most likely add a lot of those back in. Tranche three at 35%, getting close to my 40%. Reduce this to a $2 stop. Consolidating pretty good here. Let's just hope it keeps doing what it's doing. Just sleeping around that 4,900 magnet. <clears throat> All right, getting close here, so I'm going to change my stop here in just a second. 39.9. There it is. So I'll change this one to plus 30 cents. So that would be 30 cents over the 420, which is at 450, which is what I want. <clears throat> All right, reduced all my stops. So um, you know, barring some slippage, <clears throat> I'm I'm riding foot loose and fancy free. I think I mentioned it. I've mentioned it a couple times in the Discord. Um, but I don't know if I've told you yet, Steve. Um, I'm uh trading for my brother. So I'm trading two accounts, mine and then my brother's. I just don't, I don't trust him with his money. <laughs> <laughs> he's not responsible. So, um, the older or younger, he's one year older. Okay. So I'm currently down $400 in his account. Is um, he mad at you? No, like I was <laughs> down, like, uh, mine is the day I've had, um, down over 11 K. So, I've scratched his back all the way to um, almost scratched, almost almost breaking even. Wow. Yeah. So I, what I was the, a, what was the difference? The difference. Um, I've had a couple power. Uh, I did a power hour trade. Um, I didn't post it because I've only I only post the ones I do in my account. Two eighty nine million to the buy side still. <clears throat> so, but are you you're, you must be doing smaller size for his too? I assume. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, and I guess that that's a bet that, that probably actually is a big reason why.
up above 49.05, new highs of day. That's not looking good. We don't need one of those thrusts into the close. That's <clears throat> what we don't need. Yeah, that trading somebody else's money is a whole different ball game. <clears throat> You're that's a whole another set of emotions you got to master. <laughs> yeah, his uh, his account's not as big as mine, so kind of has forced me to go smaller. <laughs> My PM iron condor is just barely hanging on. It's far away from the stop, but it's just just on the edge. And then my three power hours. Yeah, forty nine hundred. Forty nine hundred would be ideal. Yeah, anywhere between 4,900, 4,905. That's where I need for this account. I'm trading my brothers here. Yeah, as Mauro mentioned, we've got tomorrow we have average hourly earnings, non-farm employment change, unemployment rate. That's all pre-market. And then 30 minutes after the bell is, uh, after the opening bell is the revised University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment. What I'm looking for tomorrow is I'm looking forward to a Friday just chop session. I mean, it's had its two crazy days, last two days. Just chop session tomorrow. Uh, VM. So uh, you posted in the Zoom chat. Do me a favor. All the all the questions and and posts are in the Zero Live mm. chat channel in Discord. So if you could post there, I don't uh, don't always see the Zoom chat pop up. But to answer your question, uh, do you take beginner questions? Yes, we do. Absolutely, that's what we are here for. Uh, I'm just starting, but I'm familiar with IC trading. I've watched the video once or twice. What's the next step? Um, all right. So if you're looking at my screen, I'm not sure if you were on here. I showed this earlier. If you go to the Go to the Zero DTE course channel, scroll up a little bit, and there's a post that I've that's called New Member Zero DTE Checklist. So go through each of those steps and that'll that will set you on your way. You're welcome. 289 million to the buy side still. Well, there is a fake navigation trading that will send you a DM requesting things like that, Marl. <laughs> Somebody just sent me another one. I had to ban them. Sometimes they, just, really? they sneak through. It's weird. It's 
So the final MOC number in five minutes. Yeah, happy. We don't, we don't, I don't post the trades like in power hour. It's just, they move too fast to, yeah, it's way too fast. You know, I don't want you to think it's, you have the ability to copy them because that's definitely not how it works. The, the idea is to understand the concept of what we're doing, create your own kind of trade plan and be able to trade based on your account size, based on your risk tolerance, all that good stuff. Plus, I got a few things going on. Streaming, trading. Sometimes I'm eating. You never know. I need to come check out the condo, man. Yeah, let me know whenever. Like you got furniture and stuff in there? Yeah, it's like a second home, dude. <laughs> I mean, I I live here for a good twelve hours a day. And now, when you I get had to make a home, you don't have to sleep on the couch either. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I get kicked out. I got somewhere to go. You don't have to sleep in the woods. <clears throat> All right. So tranche three is at 54%. Tranche two is up 65. Tranche one is at 58. My PM iron condor is up 13. Yeah. So ha happy continuing on what I was saying there too. You know, that's why we, that's why I post every, all details about exactly how I'll be trading in my, trade plan each month. So there's no, there's no guessing. There's no wondering what I'm doing. It's not like I just jump on here and, uh, you know, change every day might kind of seem that way. Cause we've had some, you know, really low volatility and I've skipped some days and things like that. But, you know, for the most part, I'm following that tra that trade plan for the full month. So you'll know exactly what to expect. Oh, don't need this drop. Back down below 4,900. Just freeze. If we could just freeze right here, that'd be ideal. Yeah. I can handle that. Nice job, Michael Todd. It's a way to come back today. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him a text right now, Nick. <laughs> Freeze. I wondered about that DRB. Spy gets th good theta decay or not. But honestly, SPX uh, up until the last hour hour today really was, was not good. Should get similar decay on a percentage basis. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was going to say it's has not been great today. All right, MOC number coming out in about thirty seconds. Anything over three billion, I'll three billion to the sell side. I will sell some futures. Three Stop. billion over to the buy side. I will buy. Come back up a little bit. 150 million to the buy side. So no MOC trade. Nothing, nothing number. It's like, it's like she's going to finish coming down. Maybe need a little bounce, need a bounce.
So I'm trying to decide what I want to take off here and what I want to let ride. So my PM iron condor needs to, would need a down move. <clears throat> need a bounce. Tranche one is the 900 895s. Tranche two is the 4900s, 4905s. So tranche three is 10 wide, so that would be, we can stay inside that range. That would be the most ideal to hold. Got a few minutes to decide. I think we get a 4900 pin. I would love that. Absolutely love it. No, but that's probably because I didn't actively trail it down enough, Kelvin, to be honest. Um, I just trailed it down another buck. I wasn't tranche two and three are trailing stops for me. It may get stopped here though. Price keeps coming down. My stops at 730. Spreads at 723. Yep, it's getting stopped. All right, stopped on tranche two. I made 11% on tranche two. So I need back above 4,900. Actually my PM iron condor likes it lower, but Tranche one and two. Forty nine hundred would work. Sorry to hear that, Michael Todd. You've had some really good consistent uh, success though, man. Today was rough. Today was tough. Ninety nine. I'm going to go ahead and close out my PM Iron Condor. With that's taking an assumption that I think we stay up and don't go down. Close that out. So now I need between 4895 and 4900. Tranche three, I'm, I'm going to let run. Tranche one. Let's see what happens here.
Tranche three trading down to 30 cents. Tranche one is at 240. Sitting at forty nine oh two, a little over two minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna close my tranche one. A little bit two ninety on tranche one. Only thing left is tranche three. which is going to the grave, going to the bell, boys and girls. Nice, Elliot. 25K for the day. Dan B, plus 4% of your count on the day. Nice. Power hour is going to bring me into the green, assuming we pin here. Shouldn't speak too soon. I got a minute and a half. Keep my mouth shut. Are you are you needing a, a forty nine hundred pin? Anywhere but anywhere below 05 and above ninety five. So I got a ten point range. Oh, okay. But we're creeping up towards that 05. Yeah, it's not good. This uh the little push down stopped me out of the one the trade I had on. And then it then it bounced. It's bounced since then, you know, so Oh, don't do it. Stay below yeah. 05. I knew I was going to do it. I totally knew it. Don't you dare. Best thing to do about today is forget it. Because it would have been, one that got stopped would have been a nice big winner with this bounce. It stopped me out and then it bounced. A little above 05. Get back down. Where are you going? Yeah, it's going. It's going, going, gone. Five seconds. Wow. 4906. What? All a right. Day. So tranche three will end up being a $2,300 winner instead of a $3,400 winner. A day. So my uh all right, so my PM Iron Condor made twenty three hundred, my tranche one made eighty five hundred, my tranche two made seven hundred and thirty five, my tranche three made it'll end up settling at about twenty three hundred. So that brought me back after my re entries today. So not a big green day, but slightly. And plus a thirty five hundred dollar rick. So green, but not as green as I want. It's never as green as I want, Chad. Yeah. Well, when it's big green. I want bigger. When I'm it's red, I want green. I'm going to forget today ever happened. <laughs> all right, all. So let's see. Live stream tomorrow is tomorrow is the second. So uh, Chad will be streaming live in the morning for the Mighty 90 Runner stuff. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Have a good night. Take care.